to crystallize the long-term goal. So the long-term goal and living the perspective of the long-term goal, whatever that is, writing the book, launching a company, is what keeps us alive. It's really the, the heartbeat of, of, of what we're going to be doing, which is the mundane crap um, that you have to do in order to make the long-term goal come into fruition. So you have to kind of, I always suggest to my clients, Today we're going to talk, you want to talk about long term? Okay, let's, let's talk about the dream. Let's talk about the book. Let's talk about the company. Let's talk about the television show. Let's immerse ourselves in, in the euphoria of that because when you get out of here or after we have our session or after this conversation, you're going to have to pick up the phone and you're going to have to call that guy and you're going to have to actually sit at the computer and write that paragraph and you're going to actually have to do the mundane, mindless stuff which is the short-term action that gets you to the long-term. So it's this real, for me, it's very much a vacillation between what I, I have to immerse myself right now in long-term because I am beyond bored with the mundane stuff I have to do to get there, whether it's studying or the coursework. Or, but I also realize that spending exclusively all of my time in the, in the grandiosity and perhaps delusion of the long-term goal is really not going to get me there. So it's that balance between long-term action plan and goal creating and, and living, visualizing it, and at the same time, allowing yourself to take the, the short-term action plan to get you there. Mm -hmm. Does that answer that question? Yeah, well, I think we have also, no, but absolutely, but then with Nina, I think what's really good with your story, the fact that you took the amount of time you did in order to achieve the goal. I mean, I think that I know for myself, and I told you this, I had launched Well Mommy, it initially started as a book, 
and when we were trying to get the book deal, uh, I said, oh, I have these really cute like ideas for t-shirts, and I'm going to do one that says, I don't do cupcakes, I'm going to do another that says, I need a play date, like there are all kinds of fun things, and I had them made, and I had to pay for a minimum quantity, but I'm not a t-shirt saleswoman, I'm a writer, and I went in a lot of directions, and I found you had to have a lot of fail, and I had a lot of failure before I got to some success. Nina did the right thing, so share your story. Oh, I, don't think, I don't know that that's true, but um, the the initial idea I had for Mom Agenda and the book, the way it looks now, out in the hall, are two completely different things. And if I didn't do the mundane, everyday stuff that took me nine months, it this wouldn't be a successful product. Um, I had to go talk to women, I had to interview people, I had to meet manufacturers, I had to look at fabrics, I had to think about colors, I had to think about designs. There were a million details. And quite honestly, if you look at it, to me, if you look at the enormity of the task of launching a business, you'll never do it, because you're like, oh my God, it's huge. So what I always say to women is, just do what you have to do today. Take the first step, put one foot in front of the other, and then when you wake up the next day, do what you have to do that day. <coughs> and don't think about how big the project is, because quite frankly, if you don't go through the process, the end result won't be as good. Uh, do we have any questions from the audience? Yes. You, you mentioned, um, one of you mentioned, saying, I don't have the time, how am I going to do this? Where did you find the time? How did you make amends? How did you get past that, you know, what did you do? Yeah, well, I, <laughs> like, all, practically I had that. to put my money where my mouth was, so I had no choice. But time is something I think about all the time now. It's such an interesting thing. I think I was saying this to you, that I don't have time to clear the table and wash the dishes after dinner. I have no time for that, right? <clears throat> but I did have time to write a book. And I do have time to talk to my sister for an hour on the phone every day. I've got nothing. So time, it's so interesting. If you find something that you really want to do, like investment banking, some people may love it. I find it like pu pushing a ball up a hill and just having it smack you in the head 3,000 times a day. It was torture for me. It was really hard. I loved writing this book. And every day I'd wake up with uh, 10 things I wanted to call Elizabeth to say. And I like the energy came. And I just had time, like time sort of creates itself. But having said that, you have kids and you have other stuff to do, we're not living in La La Land. What really worked for me, it's not working for me as much now, is that I decided I was gonna be a writer between nine and four. And I hired a babysitter and I got out of my house. And then at four o'clock, there was a rule, Elizabeth can't call me, she can't email me, there's nothing until eight o'clock. And so that was the time that I made so that I didn't feel like I was neglecting my family dinner, we ate dinner, we played sorry, we did whatever it is that, that we did, and then I could get back to it. But when you're trying to manage your kids, I think being neither here nor there is sometimes hard on them, and it's better if they know they've got you for a, a good walk of time. Can I comment on, on, on that? Because I think, I think it really, to distill what you said, I think is really the, the key to what I did and what I, I also recommend, which is, there are two pieces here, which is permission and boundaries. Okay. You had to give yourself permission to say, you know what, this is really, cleaning the table is not important. And even though there might be some voice in my head that says, really the table should really be clean today, <laughs> or, or, or whomever, there's that permission.